the wait for the reopening of the Greenland Recreation Field in East End will soon be over. Minister for Education and Culture Myron Walwyn told the House of Assembly the field will be ready for October 25th. JTV News' Walter Barrett spoke with 8th District Representative Marlon Penn at the Greenland Field on Wednesday. The field here in Greenland has been highly anticipated and long in coming. But according to Minister for Education and Culture Myron Walwyn, the field will be ready come October 25th for its grand reopening. Good news for the people of East End and Long Look, who have been looking forward to its reopening for quite some time. During the last sitting of the House, Minister Walwyn gave an update on the status of the Greenland field and assured the Speaker of the House that despite some challenges, it would be reopened on October 25th. Madam Speaker, although many who have visited the field may have their doubts about the field being ready anytime soon, I can assure them that by the 15th of this month, Madam Speaker, they will see a dramatic change in the appearance of the field. Further, Madam Speaker, we'll be opening the field on October 25th. During our visit to the site on October 18th, 8th District Representative Marlon Penn was present to speak about what works were still to be done ahead of the October 25th date. We're just doing the fencing that's going on right now and the finishing work for the grounds. And the guys here are feverishly working to put additional um, grass. You see most, well, three quarters of the grass has already been laid. They're now putting in the fences, the back stuff, and still have to mark out the saw ball field. None of the um, tasks right now are major. I think the, the, the most major thing right now is to, to have the infield marked out. Um, so I think um, the, the ministry is collaborating with um, the saw ball association to get that done. And uh, I think we should get that started shortly. In April, addressing members of the house and by extension the public, the district representative voiced his concern that the previous administration had spent $400,000 on the field and there was nothing to show for it. On Thursday, Penn said the $500,000 allocated during this budget cycle for work on the field has helped with the first phase of the project, which will make the field usable once again. $500,000 was budgeted for the, for the facility um, for this budget cycle. Um, I think the minister made a statement in the house um, uh, on our last sitting that we're well on target in terms of that, that amount of money. He will, he will do the final um, report on the project and project costs. Like I said, the project is being done in phases. And this phase is just to get the project back in some kind of working condition so that at least sports could go on in the, in, on the facility. Then there's the phase to, to um, enhance the, um, the stands and the restroom facilities and all those facilities is in another phase. Once money permits, we'll get that done as well. Hopefully next year, if if um, the budgeting cycle permits us to get that done then. And, and you know, we, the minister also discussed um, expanding the facility to, to, to accommodate the netball court, which was, was once here before, but was not able to make it in this phase. So hopefully in the second phase, we will to get the um, netball court up and running. So, so in terms of costing and, and the formal pricing of everything, the, uh, our report will be, will, will be laid in, and then the minister will communicate on that once that is ready. The district representative also highlighted some of the benefits the reopening of the field will bring to residents of the 7th and 8th districts. There's a social aspect of it. Um, a lot of young men used to, used to let you look forward to the, the facilities, the basketball court, the field for track and softball. As their refuge, a way to, 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 you know, for me it was a way to get out, play sports and also learn some discipline. So there's a social aspect of it. And there's also the economic aspect. Uh, when we had the cricket games going on here, um, when the, just before the field was closed, there was tons of persons on the field. The field was packed every Sunday for those matches. Even likewise with the soccer ball games that we used to have here in the facility. So I think those would bring some economic opportunities for the community because by having those amount of persons within your community at one time, they facilitate the, the bakery that was down in, um, in the Fat Ox Bay area. They would, they would um, traverse the bars, the local uh, restaurants, and persons could have vending stalls here in the facility that could facilitate those persons within the, um, the facility. So, so it's economic and social. So we're we'll looking forward to the field coming back to our community and, and providing those opportunities for the people of the 7th and 8th district. The district representative didn't want to let too much out of the bag just yet, but he said that come October 25th, a myriad of activities are planned that will bring the community together, both young and old, for the opening of the field here in Greenland. So the community is invited to come out, weather permitting, for a grand reopening that is sure to catch the attention of everyone in the community. Reporting for JTV News, this is Walter Barrett.